Hi, it's me, Dr. Ija. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can do data screening. And after that, how we can check the error after we have identified which variable have an error on it. So what you need to do first is you have to screen your data by going to Analyze. And then go to Descriptive Statistic and choose Frequency. So in the Frequency, you can see this um, box. Yeah where you need to move the variables that you want to screen. For well, let's say I'm going to screen the gender. Okay, I'm going to move it into a variable box and then uh, go to statistics. You will click minimum and maximum, only that. And then you click continue and then you can click OK. So in the output, what you can see is that the value, uh, this is the um, descriptive result for gender that you have choose or the variable that you have choose, uh, which is gender. And we can see that there are 13 males and 14 females. And suddenly there is 3 under the value of 3, where uh, in the data file, I key in 1 for male and 2 for female. But suddenly in this descriptive statistics, I can see that there's three, there are three um, respondents which I mistakenly key in with three. So now I have rectified there is an error while I was key in the data into the data file. So how am I going to rectify this problem? You go back to your data file and then you go to data and find sort cases. Okay, so... Gender is the variables that I need to rectify because I wrongly key in three, sorry, two um, respondent with the value of three. So, right, you have to move the variables that you want to uh, check on the error or rectify the error into sort by. I'm going to choose uh, descending, which is from higher value to low value. And then I'm going to click OK. So now, So now, when you click in your data file, you can see that the SPSS has already um, sort the cases for gender with the, des with the uh, descending value from higher value to the lowest value. So I know now that ID number 20, number 2 and number 19 are the IDs that I wrongly key in the gender. So I'm going, I have to check back with the instrument and let's say I've already checked the instrument. The actual um, gender for ID 20 is female, so I'm going to key in 2. For ID 2 is male, I'm going to key in 1. And for ID 19 is actually uh, female, I'm going to key in 2. So there you are, you have rectified the problem or you have um, checked the error and then you rectify the problem by going to the sort cases. So you can do that with other variables also. Thank you very much for watching this video.